Hello and welcome to the second part on how to paint an Imperial Guard KDN Shock Trooper. Now that all of the washes are dry, I'm going to start highlighting the khaki parts with tolerant sand. Just try not to have too much paint on your brush. I'm using a base coat brush and I'm just sort of over brushing all over the areas trying not to get into the recesses and cleaning up most of the area just leaving uh, the, the very deep shadows on the previous color Next, I'm going to use Karak Stone for a second and final highlight to all of the khaki parts. And this color, I'm going to try to use it on all of the ex exposed areas and raised areas where you think the light would hit. And that's it. Alright, next I'm going to use Cadian Flesh Stone for the first highlight for the skin. And I'm going to use it again on all of the skin, just leaving a little bit of the uh, old color and the very recesses. The next highlight is going to be done with Kislev Flesh and this I'm going to use it for a little less area than uh, the previous highlight but typically uh, most people stop with this uh, highlight on skin or I think and uh, it looks too yellow to, to me and I'm going to use a, a third and final highlight for the skin Now for the third highlight I'm going to use Screaming Skull and this I'm going to apply it on the very most shining parts of the skin if you will, it's just on the very parts that are hit with the light directly. This really makes the skin pop. Now the skin is done. I'm going to use Lauren Forest as a first highlight for the, the armor. And this is going to be all edge highlight. Just remember to make the thinnest line that you can get on all of the edges of the armor. But not so thin because we have a second highlight for this and it's going to be a sec. Uh, an edge highlight as well so it doesn't matter if you go a little bit uh, broad on your strokes and just make sure to hit all of the edges on the armor
Alright, next I'm going to use Strachan Green, which is the final highlight for the green. And this I'm going to use it as second edge highlight. I'm going to use it on all of the edges, just trying to leave a little bit of the old color behind. Once you get used to edge highlighting, it's not really hard to do. It just takes a little bit of practice and knowing how much paint to have on the brush. Remember not to let it dry too much when you are edge highlighting. Clean your brush constantly because uh, if you're using a fine detail brush like I am doing here, uh, paint dries so much faster on this kind of brushes than the regular ones. So wash your brush every 1-2 minutes of work and you'll be fine. Also, I forgot to mention you have to thin down your paint, of course, for the edge highlight, at least one to one. And then I'm going to use Ulthon Gray to start highlighting the white parts. Leave a little bit of the uh, Celestra Gray behind on the, uh, the shadows of the white parts. And thin down the paint and try to use very, very little paint on your brush when you're highlighting this stuff so that you don't uh, clog in the details. Next and finally for the white, I'm going to use white scar, thin down. And I'm going to give the final highlight on these areas. Just try to leave a little bit of both colors behind and use it on the very edges and um, parts exposed to light. Next, I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel to highlight the metal parts of the gun and metal parts in general. There's not too many, it's just the barrel and some details here and there of the gun. And to finish it off, I'm going to highlight the boots with Mechanicus Standard Gray. This is just going to be an edge highlight and picking up the places where light naturally bounces off the color. If you have your overhead light, you can see where the, the light is bouncing off the boot and just uh, highlight that part. And this is the final result of this tutorial. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I think it's very nice. I think this traditional scheme it works very well. And uh, if you're going for it, I definitely recommend using the colors that you see here. The only changes that you can make maybe is uh, use uh, known oil wash on the green if you want a deeper shade of green. But I think this is just fine. And uh, please let me know in a comment what you think of this uh, tutorial. If you have any suggestions on the way I shoot my tutorials, go ahead and leave them below. And again, I invite you to go to my Facebook page and like it to keep in touch with what I'm doing. And maybe uh, contact me if you want to tell me something. Now, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you on the next one. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.